Hi everyone, just back from my training walk. Um, welcome to day six of Badger's Bobble Hat Week and today we're going to be making bird bobbles. Um, what you'll need to take part is a block of lard or vegetable fat, a cup of bird seed, some string and if you don't want to get your hands quite so dirty you might want some pine cones. Then to mix it all together if you grab yourself a bowl and a spoon. Now this could get very messy so you may want to have close to hand some tissue to wipe your hands and make sure you don't touch anything in between leaving the table and washing your hands. Right, so we're ready to start. First of all, if you get your block of vegetable fat or lard and just pop it in the bowl. You don't want this too cold so if it's just room temperature that's just perfect. Okay, that's very greasy, so don't wipe it on your clothes. Okay, and you might just want to mash it down a little bit, just with a spoon. Okay, just break it up. And then you want to get some bird seed. So I've got a whole cup here, this is a big cup, so I'm going to put half in for the time being and see how we go. Okay, and we just start mashing it all together. Very messy, it's great fun because I know beavers like making a mess. Now what we want to make sure is all the seed is in your, your fat there. Now at this time of year, birds like to have fatty things to keep their energy up in the winter. So we're just helping them make sure they've got enough energy to keep going. So that's probably about enough. It's mixed in nicely. Now I'm going to show you the way that you don't get so dirty first and then we're really going to get our hands dirty. Okay. So if you get a pine cone and then you just squidge on all the bird seed and the fat all the way on the outside. And so you make yourself a pine cone bubble. Okay, so once your pine cone's fully covered, you want to grab yourself some string and then just tie it around the top so you'll be able to loop it around. So here's our first bubble. This is our pine cone bubble. Now what you'll need to do with this is just pop this in the fridge to help the lard set again and then we can put it out for the birds later. So I'm just going to pop that one to one side. Now here's the bit where we get really messy. Okay, so you, you grab all the rest of your mixture and we just scrudge it up and we roll it into a nice big fat ball ready to feed our birds. Okay, so when you have a nice ball, you want another piece of string and this one you just want to tie around not too tightly because you'll cut your ball in half okay make sure it's in shape and again this is another one you just want to pop in the fridge for half an hour or so before you put out for your birds so i've popped my fat balls onto a plate and i'm just going to put them in the fridge here and we'll leave them here for half an hour and then they'll be ready to go out for your birds. Okay, let's see how they're doing. These have set nicely. Let's go and put them out in the garden and see if our birds like them. I think I'm just going to pop this one here. And if you don't have a bird table at home, you can always hang it from any hooks you've got on buildings or along a fence or outside your window. And then we'll just sit back and wait for the birds to come and have a feast. Don't forget to join us tomorrow at two o'clock for our bobble hat walk. 
please keep us up to date with all your progress um, on our Facebook page. And also send us any pictures of any birds that visit your garden. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.